Welcome to the 2014 Tradewise Gibraltar Chess Festival being played from Monday, January 27th, 2014 through Thursday, February 6th, 2014. Don't miss any of these great games. It's one of the strongest open tournaments in the world. Some of the players, Ashay LaGraff, Mickey Adams, Nigel Short, Gata Kamsky, many, many other top-rated players. Don't miss any of the action. Here are some of the top players in the Tradewise Gibraltar Chess Festival 2014. Great tournament. Don't miss any of these games. Hi folks, John Cordisco back again. This is game two from round one of the 12th annual Tradewise Gibraltar Chess Festival. Currently being played in Gibraltar, of course. I very rarely get to show my buddy Nigel Short. He's playing in this tournament. I like Nigel a lot. Nigel Short is white. And Irene Zapata from Spain is black. Now there's about a 440 odd ratings difference between Nigel and Zapata. But this is an open tournament. And you'll see a lot of rating discrepancies as far as not even being close goes. Anyway, it's a good game. I like Nigel a lot. We'll see how he does. I'm sure he'll do fine. It's going to be a Queen's Gambit declined. Declined, of course, is not taking the pawn on c4. Queen to c2, we pretty much all know there's bishop takes. That was a little surprising. I'm not up on theory, but that's a surprise to me. Bishop takes castle long. C5. I think worth looking at. It's knight to C6 as well. Right now already, believe it or not, even though black is up the minor exchange, I call it. He has the bishop pair. Bishop against knight. It's about a point advantage, pawn advantage for white already. C takes, or D takes C5. Queen A5. C takes, Bishop takes, queen takes. If instead b takes, e takes, rook takes, bishop e6. And that's not good for white. After queen takes, queen takes, pawn takes, pawn takes, e3. I think interesting would have been rook takes, and after bishop to e6, rook to d2. I'm a little greedy. I probably like that better, but those doubled C pawns are going to be tough to defend. Plus, White wants to get his rook down here as quickly as he can. We'll see how it works out. Bishop e6. Knight d4. Now, the problem is for Black here, she is so weak on the dark squares. And that knight is basically going to go unchallenged. Rook to c8. Now Nigel's going to lose that pawn anyway, so he just lets him go. King to b2. g6. c4. Now here's where I think Zapata is, or miss, first miscue. It's about a half a pawn advantage right now for white. She plays, takes the pawn. Now it jumps to almost a point for white advantage. The computer suggests something a little different. Knight to a6. Get that knight out of there. If you get that rook on the back rank, it's going to hold down a knight and a rook. And after knight to b3, d takes, knight takes, knight takes. Get a knight and a pawn for a rook, but I think it opens up her gain a lot, game a lot more. Uh, she's got three pawns on the queen side against black's one. I think that might have been a better way to go. She plays d takes, he plays knight, f takes, rook checks. King comes up. Now that's the problem. The problem is how is that knight going to get out and how is this rook going to get out from here and here? Tough. Bishop e2. Rook d5. The other rook, a5, 
desperately trying to get that some action to get that knight out. Computer suggests king e7, then the rook takes, pawn takes. Not much difference, to be honest with you. What's going to have to happen is this pawn is going to have to come here, and this king is going to have to walk all the way over to get that knight out. And by then, this rook is going to cause havoc. After a5, rook takes, pawn takes, rook takes. Material is even, technically. But the problem is, white's almost up three full points. Finally, the knight gets out. After knight to c6, bishop takes the pawn. There's nothing really she could do to save that. Interesting might have been instead, rook to d7. After king to e6, bishop checks king f6. That might have been a better way to go. But when you have so many moves that are good, it doesn't really matter. King to f8. What's she going to do? I mean, she's, she's up against it. Rook to d7. Rook c8. Knight d7 doesn't really help. Is after rook takes, rook d8, king c3, and I mean, how is black going to enter the position? After rook to c8, rook to f7, check. I don't think as good would have been if those who were wondering instead, instead of rook f7, if Nigel took, instead of, excuse me, after rook takes, knight d5, Bishop b3, knight c4, bishop takes, rook takes. Two full pawns up, and rook can't get in the position. Black is doomed. King to e8, rook takes, knight d7, bishop to e6. And this is where Irene Zapata from Spain resigns. She's a fairly young girl. I believe she's under 18. She got the silver medal, I think somebody said, at the World uh, Youth Competition. Received the silver medal for under 18. Let's just show you what would happen after Bishop e6, Rook to d8, King c3, and it's pretty much hopeless here for Black. So she just resigned. Tough break for the kid. But a win for my buddy Nigel. Now you'll see in these open tournaments, especially when the Higher and the lower rated players are so far apart in rating, uh, not like a lot of the invitational tournaments that I go over. As the rounds go on, you're going to see the, the, the winners play the winners and so forth. And you'll see a lot of the, what I call the cream coming to the top. So you'll start seeing a lot of the head-to-head -head games against the really good rated players. Anyway, folks, that's the second game from round one of the 12th annual Tradewise Gibraltar Chess Festival. I hope you enjoyed it. My buddy Nigel, go Nigel. I want everyone to remember if you think chess is just a game, you're not playing it right. Take care, folks. Bye bye. It certainly is a big bun. It's a very big bun. Big fluffy bun. It's a very big fluffy bun. Where's the beef? Some hamburger places give you a lot less beef on a lot of bun. Where's the beef? At Wendy's, we serve a hamburger we modestly call a single. And Wendy's single has more beef than the Whopper or Big Mac. At Wendy's, you get more beef and less bun. Hey, where's the beef? I don't think there's anybody back there. You want something better. You're Wendy's kind of people.